Hey guys, I'm back. It's me and it's Monday and I want to welcome you to a quick edition of a weekend recap of Nika at Night. So let's just jump right into it. How was your weekend? How was your weekend? I had a really nice quiet, well it was quiet for the most part. It sounded like Beirut around here on Saturday. But I had a really nice quiet weekend. I stayed in like I, like I said I would. And I did get a chance to see Hamilton. And it was a really good musical. I enjoyed it immensely. I will be listening to the soundtrack on tomorrow at work. And I'll be learning the words and singing along and having a funky good time. I really did enjoy it. I thought it was excellent. I thought it was really well done. The voices of the characters were great. They were phenomenal. And I just love a good musical, so I thought it was great. And I found out a secret. I found out that one of my friends that I had no clue plays drums. Who know? And I love a musician. I'm a sucker for a musician. Y'all play some music. Y'all can play a little instrument. Get at me. Get at me. Play a little saxophone. Get at me. Play a little trumpet. Get at me. Play some drums. Get at me. I love a musician. Anyway, so, um, and I also, um, I, I was scrolling on my social media and I saw that this group called the NFAC decided to roll up on Stone Mountain, I believe is what they were, where they were, Stone Mountain. And I believe Stone Mountain is like a, a hub for the KKK. And so the NFAC, which means not fucking around coalition, decided they were gonna pull up. And when I say they pulled up, they pulled up. Do you hear me? It was so powerful visually just looking at it without hearing anything, just the visual of it. I loved it. I loved everything about it. It was a very strong message and I just, I'm with it. I was with it and I was with it. That's just, this is all I can say. I support them. I'm trying to look and see where I can donate because I love to donate to a cause that I support. So the NFAC was out and about this weekend and there were no problems. They were peacefully marching and they were heavily armed and the police were there, but they were very, very, very um, nonviolent with these brothers and sisters. They did not handle them with the same um, with the same gloves that they handled regular protesters with. I wonder why. Anyway, I just thought it was powerful. I thought it was wonderful. I thought it was an awesome show, uh, an awesome display of power. And I'm here for it. And I loved more than anything the organization of it. When we organize, guys, that when we organize, when we strategize, we can really get things done. So kudos to the NFAC. Thought you did an awesome job this weekend. Also, I wanted to. So I was so proud of the NFAC, and then I wake up Sunday. And I realized that there are like numerous deaths over the weekend because we lost our freaking minds. Like, do, what are we really doing here? We're in the middle of a pandemic. We're right smack dab in the middle of trying to shift um, the social paradigm here in the US. We're trying to really do some shit. We don't have time to be sitting up senselessly shooting each other. Okay? That's not what we need right now. We don't need that kind of foolishness ever. Okay? 
I don't understand. I, I'm, I was at work today and I see that Ricky Smiley's daughter has been shot three times because she, she's trying to get herself a burger at Whataburger here in Houston. And it's like, what the, what is going on? I, that was so disheartening. There were like four or five kids, kids, small children that were shot in the midst of of gunfire this weekend killed we gotta do better y'all we have got to do better we cannot derail the progress and it's slow progress we cannot afford to derail it with foolishness i'm stop preaching but i had to get that out i'm so upset i'm so upset and in the midst of all of that we still have not gotten justice for brianna taylor like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. But we are really dragging our feet. And I'm not saying we as in us. I'm saying them as in Kentucky. They are really dragging their feet with this thing on Brianna. I don't know what it's going to take. We're going to need to burn some shit up in Kentucky. I don't know. But why are they dragging their feet for this sister? I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand it at all. And I'm really furious about it. I'm really furious about it. And I'm even more furious because then I turn on my IG looking at bullshit and I see 50 Cent and Lil Wayne with the stupid shit. With the dumb shit. Talking about black women and other women and exotic women and all this all kind of foolish. Man, look. As much as we support you, you, you fools, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Especially not right now. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Anyway, I'm talking to y'all like y'all are them and, and it's my bad. Because I feel it all up in my chest. It just pissed me off. It pissed me off. I don't know what it's going to take for them to do right by Breonna Taylor but um yeah it's 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 way past time you fired one guy and he's not been charged and then i look and see the 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 district attorney there or the attorney general whoever the black dude is who's supposed to be working on her behalf his ass is having engagement parties with um uh with becky you know, it's just a lot of foolishness going on right now. And I, I, I'm not here for none of it. None of it. So look, I'm about to head on out. But the last thing I did see today that tickled my fancy was T.I. calling out 50 Cent. And right now, right now, right now, I'm really, I want T.I. to beat his ass up. That I want him to just kill him on verses. Because you know, I try my best to ride with 50, even with the dumb stuff, because he does a lot of dumb shit. I try to ride with the brother, but you know, I, 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 and you know, T.I. do dumb shit too, but y'all make it hard for a sister to support y'all's ass but after all is said and done we still ride for y'all we still ride for y'all and we do not feel the appreciation we don't i'm gonna just i'm gonna just go and be honest we do not y'all need to fix that shit quick fast and in a hurry